the temps are cooling down there's leaves on the water but i'll tell you what fishing's finally starting to heat up and i'm going to take you guys along with me as i head out on the salt river and chase some bass in today's episode of rhino go. joe outdoors just get outside and do something awesome all right so the last time i was in this kayak i used some of this it's called kicking bass and kicking crappie and I got some of it down on the bottom of here and I'm gonna make sure to take my scupper plugs out today because it actually stunk up my whole garage with like the smell of that like fishy scent <sighs> and I can still smell it that stuff is strong it's like an oily stuff Whew. all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get rigged up here um, one thing that I have done in the past before is you get out to the water you get really excited to fish and you don't have all your rods rigged up and then let's say that I'm fishing a top water and I miss a fish and I don't have that bait to follow up with really fast then I just get frustrated with myself that I didn't plan ahead so I always try to make sure that I have my rods ready um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to fish when I was down here based on the water conditions and really honestly I wasn't even sure that if I was going to fish down here I figured if things were not the best conditions down here as far as the water I could go to a different location so I wasn't really sure what I was going to be doing today so it is finally starting to cool down a little bit um, this morning it's actually was pretty wonderful out um, probably in I think it was in like I don't know I think it was in the 50s I'll have to double check that but it was beautiful out right now it's probably about Oh, it's 69 right now is like what my weather app is saying and it's just gorgeous like it's starting to actually feel like fallout and i tell you what i have been ready for it this year all right so today i'm gonna try these uh trd crowls with a z for z man um these have like an orange color to them see that like orange belly um with that like green pumpkin back I think that should be pretty juicy for today especially with this watercolor action that we got going on um, these things also have like a really awesome action underwater um, the cool thing about z-man is is that like with other crawl type baits I love crawl type baits but the problem is it's usually you catch like one or two fish or you don't even catch a fish and they rip the freaking claws off with this z-man plastic it's got that elastic and i'm thinking that they should last a little bit longer but we will see today see how these perform i think fishermen are basically uh not susceptible to covid because we lick our line after it comes out of the water when we retie and i'm pretty sure that that makes you no longer susceptible to the covid and yes i do have my AirPod in no i'm not listening to what all these wild children are listening to i'm not listening to wop by cardi b or anything like that i'm listening to some actually classical music but you know they always could redo wop and for like fishing call it hog h-o-g like huge old giants now you messing with some huge old giants grab a jig and a rod for them huge old giants all right boys we're going to switch it up here all right so that crawl i don't know if it was too bright but we're going to switch out to this it's like a green pumpkin with like a purple and gold flake in it uh it's called uh green pumpkin gooby i think i should do the trick here all right these fish are making me angry ha! heck on it what the heck i'm smacking jigs off the front of my kayak I'm smacking jigs off the front 
uh, uh, my yeah. There we go. So, little guy, I'll let that one go. He hit that little Ned rig. All right. Didn't have my camera on. I had filmed a little snake there and I forgot to turn my camera back on. It's beautiful out here though. There we go. Oh, don't get off there. Well, hopefully that caught that. That fish came all the way out there, right next to the boat, and smashed that Berkeley Chapo. Awesome. Let's try to get him out of here. That's a nice little smallmouth. Yeah. I don't know, I've been fishing that Ned rig. And I've just been wanting to try to cover more water. And uh, I knew that that choppa was going to be the way to do it. All right, guys. So that's a nice little creek smallie. Um, it's not super huge. But man, that fish was super aggressive. I saw the shadow come. It was right next to the boat. Hopefully my action camera got that. But this is a nice little fish. I'm going to go ahead and measure it real fast. Um, I'm saying about 13. But for this little stream... Yep, right at 13 inches. So we're gonna let that one go. Let that get back to eating all these crawdads in here. All right, so we're gonna let that one go. Let you get back to doing what you do best. Awesome fish. I'm so happy. I almost packed up and left here just a second ago um, because I swear, I need to move my keys. My keys have a tile on them and if I squeeze too hard, it makes my tile go off, and that's exactly what that sound is. But I almost left here. Um, I got like, I was starting to get a little frustrated. It's, it's been kind of slow, and I hadn't really caught much, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to cover some water with this Chapo and see if I can't get any reaction strikes out of this fi these fish out here. And I'm really glad that I didn't. So sometimes you just gotta stay positive and remember like, you gotta think every single cast that next cast could cast could be one that you catch a fish on so uh never give up guys never give up what Case in point why I freaking hate GoPros. Like, it's not hot out here. I have it on looping mode and it just stopped recording for no reason. Like, I know it's not overheating and it just stopped recording. So, if you didn't see my video I made the other day, which got a lot of interesting comments, I'll link it at the end of the video. And GoPro freaking drives me crazy. So eventually I plan on replacing that GoPro. I'm probably just going to get another Osmo action. Um, I really have been impressed with the quality of it. Let me know what you think it sounds like in the comments below. Let me know what you think the video looks like. I think it's great. I love being able to see myself. And even though GoPro came out with the Hero 9 that has the front facing screen, I still just uh, like the reliability of this camera. Like I've not had any issues with it. Like I know when it's recording, it doesn't just magically turn off for no reason. Like it's not even hot out here. It's like, it's like 68 degrees outside right now. There's no reason that that camera should be turning off 
and it's charging it's got it i don't know so i i'm clueless but um as always guys i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this little trip here um i've never been out here on a kayak so that's something that's new to me and uh i had a really good time um and you know it's peaceful and it's kind of nice to not be on the lake um still i didn't have what i would consider like a great day but i did catch some fish i caught that nice little smallmouth, which was a nice surprise and uh i really enjoyed myself it's finally starting to feel like fall maybe in my next video i'll be wearing yoga pants sipping on a pumpkin spice latte maybe with a cardigan i really hope that you all will hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it and maybe you will see me in yoga pants no i wouldn't do that to you guys but as always guys don't forget get outside do something awesome if you get a chance take somebody with you enjoy this wonderful outdoor environment especially before winter hits and it gets miserable and cold and all that so i will see you guys in the next one